Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim. We're back again to do another route. And uh, this time we're on a new line. Well, new for me anyway. It's the East Coast Main Line. And uh, yeah, not done anything on it yet. A um, few uh, freight um, things that could be done. Not a huge freight fan. Not uh, long stuff anyway. And the Class 101 is a DMU of choice. Uh, that's the one that's got gears. Mm, maybe not for a uh, a Friday night or Wednesday evening, depending on when you're seeing this. Um, so we're going to start with this one, sprinting the ECML um, in a class 156. It's 1990 and the class 156 DMU has been in service for a number of years. Regional Railway is a, a service running between Darlington and York, stopping at all stations and its particular timetable still being tested to see how efficiently the class 156 can run. Well, it's more, more efficiently I can run. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to jump in and do the one above uh, in a class 47 spoon to Middlesbrough. So let's click on start. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're new to my videos, welcome. There's something from Train Sim on a Wednesday on the channel. There's something from OMSI, the bus simulator on a Monday. And something from either Firm Bus or Taurus Bus on a Friday. Uh, with an ongoing series on a Saturday uh, in X-Plane. And occasionally something on Random Sunday and some other videos in between as well. If you're watching this live, then hello. Right, Darlington 2, we have arrived in the uh, Super Sprinter um, with the lights at the wrong... Okay, the lights aren't set up correctly. Uh, evening Chaos. Let's open the doors. Let's see if we can change the lights. Not from out here by the looks of things. Let's reset track IR. Um, okay, tell light off headlight wrong one there we go right doors have closed oh god that's a good start Uh, hi Alex, uh, hi Johnny, can you get a light to 156? I don't mind a 156, I want to work out how to drive the flipping thing. I'm a fan of a DMU, obviously, and yes I know that's a red light up there. So we're going to creep our way towards it. This is uh, Darlington, a place I've never been. And this is very old livery, isn't it? Super Sprinter. Quite like that. Oh, HST going off. Oh, I've left the rear of the train behind, haven't I? Did it tell me I had to couple up to it? I didn't read the instructions, did I? Right, so I'm guessing I've got a... Okay. It won't go in reverse now. I think the engine's gone off. I think that might be a thing. So I've actually got a couple up to that train at the back. It hasn't actually told me I've got to do that. Is that a thing? Um, okay, that's a... Uh, that's an issue then. Um, is there an engine on or off that I'm not... Um, do, 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 do. We're doing well. Press screen. 
It doesn't seem like I've got the engine running, although they've got brake pressure. Let's turn the cab lights on. Uh, instrument lights. Um, is it not a cab light? But I don't think the engine's running now. Well, I crept forward, but lowered said couple, so I've got a couple up to this back here. Press the big, big big green key. No, I didn't read the checklist, Chaos. You should know that. Press the big green key on the HUD. That one. That's the buzzer. There is no other big green key. Not that. The engine start. Well, I've got brake pressure. But I'm not going anywhere now. Unless it won't start till it's in. Uh... But it was running because I moved. Engine's running off 600 RPM. Oh, yeah, I do. The rest is going back. You have to move it in the cab. Uh. Okay. That's the train brake. That's the wiper switch. Right, there we go. So you reckon I got a couple up to this then? We're not exactly going to be on time now, are we? Doesn't that sound nice? Why wasn't it coupled in the first place then? Why is that a thing? Alright, let's get them together. Uh, okay. Great, now switch cabs and open the doors. After you will need to ensure you have turned on your headlights and set your destination plate to York, pressing F7 and F8 accordingly. Do what now? Switch cabs. I don't want to be in that end, do I? Surely, I want to be in the end that's pointing out the station. In fact, it's still going backwards. Uh, F7 and F8. Nope. Where the hell's... Okay. I know I'm moving. Well, that's not working. Setting a destination display, is it? Right, so now we've got to set the reverser back to... Forward. If I can actually look at it. Right. It's actually forward now. Right, it's saying Darlington now. Is I still got to let people on and off? Is that a thing? Oh, this is flipping easy, easy, is it? It's still saying I should be here. Let me try and unload people again. Okay, pick up passengers from Darlington. Couple to Darlington. Ah, now pick up passengers. I've got it. I haven't set a destination display, but yeah, I don't care about that really. Right, pick up passengers here and then go to North Allerton. Why is that writing so hard to see? Hang on. Where are we going? 
Um, not going to Newcastle. Oh, I forgot where we're going. York. Okay, we can do this. York. Hey! Right. Passengers are on board. North Allerton, 14 miles. Okay. Uh, brakes to off. Finally, after 10 minutes, we're moving. We've got all the train with us. I'm not, driving, I'm not driving your train to London tomorrow. You'd never get there. Doesn't that sound nice, though? Oh, I do like a diesel. Right, finally, we're on our way to York. There's a switch on that panel that turns the destination light on. I don't care if people don't see where I'm going. Um... That one. There we go. He's lit up now. Right. So we were due at North Allerton at 7.02. Uh, we're going to arrive at North Allerton at 7.07. No markers equals fine driver. Marker light. Oh no, marker light isn't on. I can't read. Oh, do, do, do. Headlight, destination light, marker light. There, there we go. I'm going to yawn next week. Time I get there, I might be there. Hey! Right, now we're doing okay. 13 miles to go to North Allerton. It's quite dreary out there but you know it is uh, wherever the hell we are why is this, the throttle got 700 percent surely it should be a hundred percent hey we're only Five minutes behind schedule or schedule. It's not bad. I wonder how much traffic we'll see. Obviously, last time we did the um, uh, Great Western mainline thing and we saw a lot of traffic. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see much. Uh, this is the standard one, I think. Yeah, I got off steam. I, well, I'm a fan of a DMU, as you all know. Um, and yeah, I really like this. All right, thumbnail incoming. There it is. A whopping 68 miles an hour. Right, what views have we got? Have we got the back one down here? We've got the drive-by. Oh, we've got an inside. Someone's nicked the train. actually sounds nice inside as well that's what I like um, if you're watching this on YouTube the train that was on last week's uh, YouTube video on a Wednesday uh, was too quiet for me didn't like that at all yeah if you if you're there and you want to go and get the to the you know to the toilet and that one's blocked you've you've got to you've got to jump basically uh, across there Uh, I might have to get the AP158 at some point because the standard one of those is rather underwhelming but it must be the 156 doesn't need one. I like this. Um, 
I can't remember. I've got the Armstrong it's the 319, I think, isn't it, that I've got. Uh, the AP one. Uh, that's really nice. But as a stock um, train, I like this already. It's making the right noises. And I actually quite... Now I got used to the reverser thing, I quite like the fact that it doesn't change automatically. Uh, if anyone wants to join us on the next trucking stream to be announced, I designed a truck and put it in Discord under trucking. Let's keep looking the same. So if you wish to join us, please check it out. Yeah, there we go. Well said, Chaos. And there's going to be a giveaway in the trucking stream as well. Which um, will be uh, tomorrow night. If any of you are into flight as well and are into X-Plane, um, we do group flights a couple of times a week as well. Um, and currently got various uh, flights around the world going on. So, uh, yeah, all announced in the good old Discord server. Right, 80 miles an hour. Uh, we've hit eight miles to go. Is there anything else coming the other way yet? That sound nice though. So we'll do this DMU trip and then we'll do um, some freight. Not normally a fan of freight because you never really see much. It's just trundled along the track. But we'll do some freight. I don't think we'll keep up with my 152. Well, Amarillan, the flights we do, we generally base our planes around the person with the slowest plane. Uh, I've got the 152. Um, uh, Chris Brown's got the 152. Um, we've all got 172s, obviously. So we're more than happy when we're getting new people to join the group, as we did when Chaos joined, um, when uh, Noz joined, and they could only really fly the 172. We all flew into 172. Um, so we all keep together as a group. So uh, anybody watching it is into X-Plane and uh, wants to join us on some group flights, and even to talk planes. Uh, we've got a brilliant sort of part of the community um, that is really getting into uh, flight. So jump in with the conversation. And then, uh, yeah, the, the flight streams you'll see, we do stream them uh, on a Wednesday night and a Sunday afternoon generally. And uh, yeah, good, good fun. Right, seven miles to go. A nice um, misty sort of day. What time of the day is it? Oh, seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think that's broken though, Chaos, isn't it? Last time I tried to rob him, um, it was broken. Yeah, there are some deals to get. I bought X-Plane when it was on sale. I think I paid about 35 quid for it um, from the Laminar site rather than um, off of Steam. But there are times when it's on, on offer. And if you're in the UK, um, a few of us are getting together for the Flight Sim Show again this year in October at uh, RAF Cosford. I'm looking forward to that. And yes, it is 11. Right, so we've got six miles to go to get to North Allerton. But yeah, the scenery is looking rather nice. I am really, really liking this train. They're not exactly talking to each other, are they? No real conversation going on there. They've been married a while. He looks like a murderer. If she goes missing after they get off this train, he did it. It's quite obvious, really. The guy that probably modelled that is probably a really nice guy, but, you know, he just got looks. Yeah, I don't trust him. All right, five miles to go. Oh, here we got... yellow for a second then I was going to start panicking it actually sounds quite nice in the cab there's not very many trains that sound quite nice in here I like that what's that say 
Uh, oh, damn it. I wanted to press buttons. If that was the AP version, see, that would all work. Have I got a cab light anywhere? I don't know where it is. I'm guessing it's going to be... Uh, somewhere. It's not on there, is it? Instrument lights, windscreen de mist, headlight, tail light, destination light, compressor, speed up, marker light, sanders there, doors, uh, engine slide just top. No, can't see a. Uh, not me, the MU trains off steam with horrible sounds out of the box. No, I, I like this. This is really nice. Oh, I see a flashing light. Is that going to be a speed limit change? So you've even got, if you can see that, you've even got the reflection of the seat behind me. In the, uh, so the seat, so I'm not actually there, I'm invisible, I've got no reflection. Um, but you can see the buttons behind me reflecting the window, I like that. Right, that was flashing yellows. So we'll slow down. We have got two miles to go to get to North Allerton anyway. Single flashing yellow. And I've really annoyed Larwood now by slowing down. Any little noises you can hear in the background are really nice. Yeah, blame the pills and really blame the fact that it's uh, it's Friday as well. Shame it's a dull day. Yeah, it'd be nice if it'd be a summery scenario, but it's nice to get used to the train, get used to the track. Um, we'll see what happens when we jump in a uh, a freight train after this. This is quite a long scenario though. I think it was an hour. Sounds very familiar from trains I was went on sort of twenty odd years ago. I don't know what it was, but we used to get trains from uh, Swindon to Gloucester or Swindon to Cheltenham, and then uh, travel up to Birmingham from Gloucester or Cheltenham. And this just sounds so familiar. Yeah, I've never travelled on the East Coast Main Line. Well, that's not bad. We were due in five minutes late. We've actually clawed back some time there. We're now only three minutes late. We'll make the buggers walk quicker all the way to the end of the line. Well, again, one of the projects I've got is buying the scenarios that will actually let me do London to Glasgow, London to Edinburgh. Um, because that's something I want to do. And I also want to do Penzance to London um, by getting all scenar scenarios and then stitching them together. A bit like we did with the Bedford to Brighton. I really like that. Um, and uh, the longer routes are great for streams and stuff as well. 
Right, so we've made it to North Allerton. The next stop is Govan North Allerton Junction. Pick up passengers from uh, Thirsk. I thought Thirsk was in Scotland. Right, he's ready for some diesel porn. Ready? That's just so nice. Many freeway scenarios out there, both in parts on separate routes and a few on the East Coast mainline merge. Yeah, so I definitely want to do Penzance to London. That's something I want to do as one long journey. Um, and then, yeah, London to Scotland. It'd be really good. Right, 75 mile an hour speed limit. Evening, Sam. Oh, yeah, I was thinking of Thurzo. Yeah, it was close. It had a th in it. Oh, Sam's got a big box. Now, that sounds out of context, doesn't it? Uh, for those of you on the Discord server, uh, Sam just posted a picture of his big box. Hang on, that's going to go horribly wrong again. Sam's had a package from Amazon. <laughs> it's Friday. Uh, I think I've got all the routes to do East Coast Mainline in one run now. Uh, I just haven't installed, but yeah, larwood has been keeping me tabs on um, what I should do to get London to Brighton. I think I'm missing a couple of the um, Just Trains ones. Or Dovetail ones. One of them. which I'll probably end up getting over the next uh, week or so. But yeah, really liking uh, this 156. That is so nice. <laughs> oh no, it's a cucumber all over again. Uh, yeah, well, less said there, sound the better. I know DMUs aren't great for the environment, I know they're horrible and smelly, but I just love the things. We've said this before, if you watch any of my videos, um, that I like a slow plane, I like a slow train, I like a slow truck, uh, I like the old slow buses. I think there's a theme going on there. You're missing Just Trains Newcastle to Edinburgh and Great Eastern Mainline from Steam. Oh, is that it? Is that all I need, Larwood? It's top of Just Trains 1 that I have, but I haven't installed it yet. I kind of have all the, the dovetail stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll end up getting those last two then. And then it'd be awesome just to do the whole route, which would be a great stream. Do the whole thing. And then if I was clever enough, I'd split it up and put it on um, YouTube in various sections, but you know. That involves editing. Oh, we've got five miles to go to get to Thirsk, which I thought was in Scotland, but that's Thurso apparently. Um, and then uh, it's on to York. Um, it's one of those routes, I've just started getting into it now, and it's going to be over and done with. They'll be like, oh. Oh, here comes another train. That's the first one we've seen. We've been going about 20 minutes. Because it took us, you know, 10 minutes to get um, get started. <clears throat> I don't know whose fault that was. So you got USB charging ports in this thing. I was sweating in the 90s, isn't it? There wasn't USB back in the 90s. Well, there was, but, you know, no one had smartphones. I used to take magazines on the train with me and read sort of car magazine or, or, or buy an auto express. 
every uh, every Friday and read it on the train. By the time I got to Cheltenham, I'd read it. Do not have the C words for trains. What checklists? Uh, there is on the Armstrong Powerhouse stuff. You have a checklist, but this it was just it was user error for me. Rather than use the um, keys I had set to go to forward and reverse, um, you've actually got to twiddle your knob. Um, you've got to do it physically here for the reverser. Doing this didn't actually do anything. So I was trying to go backwards to couple up and it wasn't doing anything. But there aren't really checklists. Right, we're nearly approaching a 75 mile an hour. I'm going slightly downhill. So yeah, I might try and make um, Friday night uh, trains night because I do really enjoy streaming train sim. It's a good opportunity to do some longer, um, longer routes that I wouldn't normally put on YouTube. Um, for those of you on YouTube, um, uh, leave a comment below if you're happier to happy to see the longer routes. I've been trying to do some like 20 minute routes on for YouTube for train sim, and um, you don't really get much of a feel for the train and the track doing that. And it's great talking to you lot live as well when uh, I'm doing a longer route. Uh, I used to read books on the train when commuting. I got so used to having a book in my pocket that when I got taken to hospital in a big yellow truck, uh, the crew were almost amused when I got there. It was busy, so I just pulled out my book and started reading. Exactly. There you go. Nowadays, everyone's always on their phones. All right, we've got a 30 coming up down here now. I don't know, you get a, a green sword next to your hand on Power Madness. Well, exactly, Sam, you're right there. I think that means his sword's gone mouldy. There's nothing worse than a mouldy sword. Is that on me going to abuse Chris? Chris isn't here. He's probably flying something uh, very slow in X-Plane. Alright, we're only a mile and a half away. We've had to slow down because we've got this 30 here. So, uh, just being very wary of that. He was accused of being the rudest moderator ever on the Dovetail Game stream the other day. Wow. Well, thankfully, we're quite lucky here because we don't get that many people watching at, uh, at once, which is a shame. Um, we don't get that many uh, people that need moderating, apart from the moderators occasionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nightbot will be, will be uh, telling you that soon, I'm sure, Sam. I do need to set up some Nightbot commands. I might try and do that. Uh, does my command here still work? There you go. Shame he's not here to watch it. I might have to set that for tomorrow night's uh, trucking stream so it comes all up every like 20 minutes or something. Just in case uh, certain tucks tunes in. PD boy, thank you very, very much for the subscription, sir. Much appreciated. I think it's lowercase. Lowercase T, Sam. Right, coming into Thursk, someone asked the same question for the 15 billionth time. When will the SDK for Train Sim World be released? I responded with when it's done, perhaps. Apparently this was exceptionally rude for a moderator to say. No, I think that's fine. <laughs> because Nightbot is a dust bot. I should change the name of Nightbot.
Right, so here we come. Into Thursk. I've got a bit of a thirst, actually. I'll swig of my orange toss bot. Exactly, that's, that's what we should call it. Oh, I wonder if I can rename Nightbot. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> we we'll have to see if there's a way of renaming Nightbot. There we go. There's a link to the Discord server. For those of you that maybe aren't in the Discord server, um, a link to it is there. It is an awesome community um, based around sim gaming. We have got an entertainment section, a random section, and a section where people post pictures of buses um, currently going on in there as well. Um, but yeah, do please check out Discord if you haven't done. Uh, it's a growing community. It, it, I'm really proud of the way it's, uh, it's, it's turning out. Um, it is brilliant. So if you want to go and hang out and talk trains or any other sim games, um, then yeah, click on the little linky thing, join Discord and jump on in with a conversation. Absolutely, pictures of trains, always welcome, James. All right, more diesel porn incoming. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit for this. That's just too nice, that, isn't it? Right, 21 miles to York. Great Eastern Mainline is fourteen ninety nine on Steam, the classic train. Dovetail store, using it to talk to me, so I'll tell you whether it's on sale there, if it ever loads. fourteen ninety nine is not bad, I suppose. <laughs> Butt nugget. <laughs> no, I don't think it was meant like... Oh, dear. For context, for those of you that aren't in Discord, um, one of the lads in Discord um, posts pictures of the bus he travels home from, I'm guessing, school on uh, every day. Um, so he's got his own great non-gaming pictures room now, so we get daily updates on uh, on his bus and his little McNuggets. So they just called him Buck Nugget now. I, I do have a beer. Um, for later this evening when we come off the stream. Uh, I've had some good news today, so um, I'm in a really good mood. Uh, go for it, Chaos. You'll find it quite funny, actually. Right, so we've got 21 miles to go now. That bit loud, we can take it down. Uh, 21 miles to go till we get to York. That's our final stop for this journey. It's a shame, actually, because I'm, I'm enjoying this. So we'll try and make Friday night's uh, train sim night. Maybe some occasions where uh, we maybe can't. Saturdays we'll be trucking. Um, I have got... Uh, what's the one? Dovetail Games Fishing? I've been given. Um... So I'll either stream that or that'll be going out on this week's Random Sunday video on uh, the YouTube. Um, see what I think of that. So the plan is tomorrow night we'll do some trucking. Multiplayer trucking in tunes on a Saturday night. Sunday afternoon then we're back flying uh, in a plane I haven't bought yet. Um, that's uh, Sunday afternoon. And then back next Wednesday again uh, for some more flying. Little McBuck nugget. <laughs> oh, chaos. Right, 20 miles to go. And then we're going to do some freight. What can possibly go wrong with that? Uh, Fishing Sim World, that's the one. Yeah, I've been given a copy of that to try. Um, I haven't even installed it yet so uh that was a possibility for tonight on the stream i may no, i don't think i've got time tomorrow afternoon uh it's something i would like to stream 
I'll see what time I've got tomorrow afternoon. I might even be able to jump on stream for an hour and try it out on stream uh, for the first time tomorrow afternoon. Ah, I know why you can't do it, Sam. You're not a mod. I can correct that, Sam. To, uh, Chaos should be able to do it. Or Larwood. There you go. Uh, it was uh, Fishing Sim World, Amarillum. I don't know if any of the mods have got the ability to make someone else a mod, um, or whether I've got to do it. See, again, we had this the other day, you know, on the video that came out last Wednesday, because it's complicated. Um, Surely if you're if you're on a train and it's this empty, why would you sit here going backwards? You wouldn't, would you? I would sit there. I'd be sat there going that way. Because you can see trains coming the opposite way, which is always quite nice. Um, and you see where you're going. No one wants to see where they've been. You don't sit in the back seat of the car looking the other, other way, do you? You see where you're going. So why would you... Why would they set this view up? I suppose... They've got to set it up in one direction, haven't they? Not the group, obviously. Um, because if you go in the other way, then it would be going the right way. Uh, okay, chaos. I'll. Um, I've got to remember the command. I'll, I'll try it. I haven't tried multiplayer and fishing sim world yet. When your fishing was released, I really got involved in the stupid 24 hour week long streams that they did for it. Wow. Well, there's multiplayer in fishing sim world. I didn't know that. And. Um, oh, I'm speeding. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if Larwood's an admin. He's admin everywhere else. Um, what was the other one we want to do in multiplayer? It was that submarine one. Um, that looks really good as well. We're going to try and get uh, a few of us involved with that if we can. Because um, that could be hilarious to do on a stream and uh, let me see if I can find the name of that one wolf pack yeah that's the one that I think that would be really funny because mr. center direction chaos um, would be uh, would be great steering the ship nobody knew there's a multiplayer efficiency in world because only one person pays it at a time <laughs> Are you not an admin on my Twitch page then, Larwood? I'll have to look at that. Really, I want, it, I want, it, I want to press the button to fire things. God, that would be dangerous. So, yeah, I think it's expensive though. It's about £28. Um, I might try and find um, some details out, see if I can contact them. So I think that could be quite good promoting that in a multiplayer stream. Oh, train. Yeah, from a, um, a point of view, it's then like real fishing. You know, you'd have three of you in a stream all 100 yards apart down the riverbank all listening to their own radios uh, or getting drunk which seems to be a thing in fishing uh, and not catching anything so that could be a really exciting stream chaos will be sat there and like is caught anything at chaos uh, how about you sam caught anything uh, uh, little uh, floaty things floating up and down 
Oh, is that a fish? Oh, no. It's a leaf gone past. So, I, I haven't played it. Um, I've never seen any videos on it, so I, I can't judge it, really. Um, but uh, we will... If I see if we do get time tomorrow afternoon, I may uh, jump on and stream it. Um, but if not, it'll be a video of a random Sunday anyway. Oh, for God's sake, Sam. <sighs> He's here all week, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be in Sunday afternoon's uh, flight stream. He's too scared to join us for trucking, basically. When we did multiplayer streams with Eurofishing, it got really, really competitive, but in a fun way. It could be a good bit of fun, then. I do want to do more multiplayer stuff. I like, you know, chill out on a Friday night, do a bit of this in single player. Um, but the multiplayer stuff is more fun. Yep, Saturday night's good. If there's a lot of us. I think most you've had in trucking on a Saturday night is like nine. Um, and that got very chaotic, but it was good fun. Uh, it's normally about four or five of us. And then I think most you've had for flight is five. Um, but it'd be nice to get a few more people flying with us as well. In X plane. Well, actually, uh, FS Cloud is cross platforms. It doesn't matter if you've got um, uh, FSX, you can still join us for flights because it's FS Cloud that links everyone together. Or the um, poopy P3 doofy thingy, whatever it's called. The other one. Right, 11 miles to go to York. Not seeing as much traffic as I thought we'd see. C3PO, yeah. Um, not seeing as much traffic as I thought we'd see going up and down here. Well, next Saturday I may be joining Smithius too, as Mrs. Alpha Mike is off out for a friend's birthday, so I may need some help getting set up for that. That'd be awesome, Sam. It is easy to do. We can talk you through it. If fishing sim world is the same, then you're all standing around the lake, throwing lines all over the place, getting points for every fish you catch. Um, that's cool. Well, I'm the only person I know that's got it, so multiplayer could be uh, a bit of a challenge at first. I haven't even installed it yet. Ten miles to go. It's definitely a, um, did it say what time of the year was it? I'm guessing it's... Um, Oh, you've got it, Amarillo. And I thought, why is Amarillo shoving his hand up something? Um, well, we can stay in Scandinavia, Sam. That's not a problem. If that's the one you've got, we can uh, just stay there. It's fine. Definitely liking the way this thing sounds. In that little sort of rattle. I'm guessing that noise that you hear occasionally is the carriage doors closing because that that they just slide backwards and forwards, don't they? No, it's fine, Sam. Don't purchase DLCs, uh, especially. We can just stay in Scandinavia. We all like Scandinavia. Um, we ended up in the UK last time, but we can head back over towards Bergen um, tomorrow night and then be there ready for the following week. That's fine. Right, so eight miles to go till we get to York. And then uh, once we've done this journey, we are going to jump in then and do some freight. It's about a 35-minute freight scenario. So uh, we'll do that after this. 
and then I'll see if I can get the new one that's released today, the Cornish one, uh, ready for next weekend. And we'll do some more trains uh, next Friday night. Yeah, it does sound really nice. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, awesome, enjoy that. Uh, I am Groot. <laughs> yeah, cheers Sam, enjoy the film. Has anyone got the new uh, old American route trains in 2019? Uh, I haven't got much in America, I've only got a couple. I'm trying to get all the UK stuff, that's my plan. I want to get every route for the UK. Because I really like the UK stuff, because I can relate to it. I know where some stuff is in America, but... And I sort of know the, the signalling system here, sort of. I really want time anyway. Uh, we were due in at 7.41, we're going to arrive at 7.43. Well you've got every UK route, yeah that's what I want to get, I want to work out which ones I'm missing. I've got a few of them already. I went through Steam and there wasn't many I didn't have on Steam. But that's my plan. I want to get every UK route. Some was developed and released through Dovetail Games aligned with the Golden Spike, where the railroads met across the entire continent. I haven't yet found anyone who's got it. Uh, well, that sounds quite interesting. The Midwest somewhere, isn't it? Again, although that would be a hell of a challenge. Imagine that. Um, actually, I was having a conversation with someone last night about doing the, an Amtrak trip. Um, in real life and imagine doing that in train sim across America that would be flipping awesome it take a long time all right we've got a 50 coming up Even a tick over. That sounds really nice. Just give it a little bit of beans. You can't tell me that's not nice. We well, can, but it, you'd be wrong, obviously. I helped Dr. Games out with signaling questions sometimes, so I'm not on the beta team, so I can see what they're talking about when it's not working. Oh, okay. Prefer the sound electric? Damn you, sir. Damn you with a diesel rag. Yeah, I'm uh, the same with um, TML, Amarillo. Well, I should be testing stuff now, actually, but I must try and do that every weekend. Um, I've got 125 limit um, coming up, but I'm not going to do that because we're only two miles to the... Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, two miles to go to York. 
We've got another 50 coming up. Well, yeah, I, I say I, I know they're bad for the planet, and they are going to be phased out in favour of electric. So I get the reasons why. But I, personally, certainly from a you know, streaming point of view, um, I really like them. They're, they're nice and noisy. Some electrics do sound nice. Um, uh, we drove an electric recently on one of the streams. I think it was. It actually sounded really nice. It's more about the noise than anything else. Um, I'll have a look at that as well, Chaos, and see what I can do. Um, have I seen a pacer in person yet? No. I've yet to uh, see real life pacer. Right, single yellow. Would you consider driving a network of providing other effects? If it sounds, it's, it's about the sound for me, James. Um, I'm not really bothered, you know, if it's diesel or not, but it's got to sound nice. A Leyland Nash, it is. I, mm, Pacer. Oh, I'm slowing down just in case we get a red. Again, the pace that we drove, um, the one that went down to Minehead, was it? Um, I like that. It's that bit. And that clatter of a an idling diesel. I'm a diesel fan no matter what game. And in real life, I, I like a diesel. Uh, okay. Although I'd rather my car not clatter, but okay. Never be on a platform, uh, Pacer is up when it pulls away, it performs a lovely smoke show. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine you've got some sort of breathing difficulty, which again, I, I get that the fact that they're good for the planet electrics and that's the way everything's going to go. You know, I can't wait till electric car infrastructure gets there because um, I'm first in the queue. But it's just about the noise and I don't know. Well, say I've streamed and done videos with electrics and some of them sound really nice. Slow speed tick over on those things usually means we're going to get stuck in the tunnels into New Street. So I'm not a fan of that. Oh god, the amount of times over the years I'm a really, I've stopped in those tunnels approaching New Street in trains. Certainly if I'm you know, trying, was trying to get to Birmingham on a Friday night to go out on the beer and you get stuck. It's like, oh come on. Right, so you've got three quarters of a mile to go. And then we're going to arrive in York. And then uh, we'll uh, do a freight scenario after this. But I've liked the scenario, I've, li I've really liked the train so far. It is really nice. Uh, the map's been quite nice. Not as much traffic on it. So not many other trains coming the other way. I 
If you want some nice trains, European ones are great. Yeah, I've got a few of the European routes. Um, but so for me, the UK ones um, I really like because I, I can sort of relate to where they are. America I could a bit, I suppose. But that's why I want to get all the UK scenarios. Eventually. And again, York, somewhere I've never been to. Um, talked about a few of us from the Discord group. Um, going up to York, to the Railway Museum. That was going to happen uh, back in the last year. But didn't in the end. I'm speeding now. So hopefully that could be on the cars for this year. Yeah, you just had a... Did a cat just walk across your keyboard, Amarillan? But there we go. We made it to York. I'm not going to crash into the buffers. Yeah, looking forward to um, all the stations island then, Amarillan. Looking forward to that. Saw some Irish, I was up in Northern Ireland um, last year. Um, and uh, actually got a really nice shot of the train at Portrush. Or coming out from Portrush. Never actually went on the train then. He did have a small boy talking Pokemon again. <laughs> Fair play. Well done, scenario end. How did we do then? Targets complete one out of five. Stopped at not out of naught destinations. Well, that's just wrong. Um, speeded twice. Picked up passengers at not out of plot four platforms. Well, that's wrong as well. Hmm. Okay. Got my Kickstarter book. Yeah, I want to get that book. Um, that's something I, I need to do. Oh, it's standard, wouldn't it? Um, East Coast Main Line. So we've just done that one. And um, we're now going to do this one. Spoon to Middlesbrough. Yeah, there aren't many lines over in Northern Ireland. Oh my good God. Okay, it's raining. Hello driver, first things first. And uh, that's to load unload your passengers at York. We're pressing the T key. As soon as that is done, wait for the clock to show 10.26 and depart for Thirsk, where you should have aimed to arrive at 10.47. Oh, it's a passenger run then. I thought it was going to be a freight run. Oh, look at that. Old school carriages. That's probably the wrong lighting, isn't it? No, it's got to be that one. Oh, doesn't this sound nice? Good start. You waited to turn 26 to depart. Well, I haven't left yet. Um, I've got trains in World Northern Trans Pen 9... I did a stream on it, Amarino, I think. Alright, release the brakes. Brake pressure's dropping. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? Oh, I thought the DMU sounded nice. HST coming in beside us. Actually, I think that's going to be a better thumbnail, isn't it? 
There we go. See? Now again, electrics, yes, to the future, but... That's just really nice. Do I have any of the AP enhancement packs for the HSTs? No, the only AP one I've got is for the 319. Again, there's a lot of things that I need to get to make train sim better, um, but I seem to get distracted a lot by X-Plane. Okay, that's interesting. The wipers are on, I suppose because I've pressed the wiper here and not in the cab. So the wipers are on at either end. Right, 30 limit. Right, then we're up to a 50 limit down here. That's really old school, isn't it? They actually, hang on, they're the Harry Potter style. Yes, they got the, um, God, I remember going on those when I was really young. They were still about um, with the individual compartments. I remember trains where you had a door, um, rather than door at each end, you actually had a door to each compartment then. So you had loads of doors. Um, oh, so cool. Which that one's got one in the middle as well. Oh god, I'm doing a speedy thing. Also, you won't be able to get away with HST EPs. I force my HST packs down your throat. Well, that's a, um, an offer. Alright, so you've got a 50 coming up down here. actually ducked under the bridge. Uh, I never get a day that a brand new 70 failed on the coal train down near Stour Bridge about a week after it was delivered when the train eventually got hauled through it was, it was by a really dirty tatty EWS delivered class 37 towing this brand spanking new and completely failed thing up the hill. Um, was that the um, uh, the Licky Incline? Oh, no, Stour Bridge, wouldn't it, you said? Oh, right, we've got a 50 limit now. Now oh, that's a horn. Oh, that's so cool. This is what we need in um, Train Sim World. All right, 125 limit. This thing's not, not going to get to that, surely. I think it's not smoke. Oh no, there is smoke there. I didn't think it was smoke enough, but there is smoke there. Ah, uh, okay. No, oh, I must have driven it then in, um, yeah. It didn't look the same as that inside. I'm sure I've got North Tranines. Um, you got to look at my train soon, world. Hang on. Yeah, North Tranines, yeah, North Tranines, North Trans Pennines even. Um, uh, yeah, I've got it, Train Sim World. I'm sure I did a stream on it. Right, 65 mile an hour.
the odd carriage in the middle. There. Yeah. Now it's not me this time, is it? That's a different colour. If you haven't, if you're watching this and you haven't checked out my YouTube stuff, uh, the link to YouTube's there as well, um, where there's a Train Sim World video actually going up next Wednesday. Um, this will be the Wednesday after, so last Wednesday if you're watching this. That's a Mark II, the rest of Mark ones. Oh, okay. North Tranines. I keep saying Tranines. North Trans Pennine. The dreaded uh, WSR both class 47. I believe they're in the chamber as well. You can't drive the WSR 47 on North Tranines. You did do a Trans Pennine stream. Yeah, I thought I did. Yeah, I'm going to try and do train sim every Friday because it's really relaxing for me after a week at work. Uh, it's easy. I have got to think about various buttons and stuff. Um, so it's easy for me to chill out on a Friday night. So then that will go out on a Wednesday. So it could be the next few Wednesdays uh, train sim videos uh, are streams. That must be before I, I discovered you. Uh, I was discovered. I'm like a continent. yeah we'll do this route and then uh, that will be it uh, for tonight so about an hour and 40 minute stream uh, this evening it's a little bit shorter unless there's something really small I can do after this I actually have no idea how I ended up here but I did say so. <laughs> well that's the important thing you found us um, we need to get a few more people active on Discord. That's my next aim. There's the same uh, few of us that post in Discord. We need to get more people in there being uh, being active. See, so if you're watching this on YouTube and you've uh, got this far, I do ramble on about Discord on every single one of my videos. Um, but yeah, it is an awesome place. So yeah, tomorrow night then, uh, is trucking trucking and tunes on a Saturday night a bit of music and a bit of trucking and a bit of fun so we can't ever stick that out on YouTube because of the music uh, and then Sunday afternoon is some sort of failure in flight sim um, in X-Plane well I think we've maxed out at 94.3 Sounds like a radio station. You're listening to 94.3 Class 47 FM. 94.3 uh, seems to be it. That's... Oh, 994.4. It normally said... Oh, yeah, maximum speed. There we go. Uh, 95 miles an hour. Oh, someone's calling. Lots of buttons over here. Let me have a look over here. What have we got? Ugh. You missed the uh, instrument lights. Oh, they're not functional. What's this? Happy to. It's got a foot warmer. That's quite cool. Quite conscious that I'm sat quite low down. There we go. Yeah, this is really old school. Again, I do like uh, old diesels. So we've got 12 miles to go to Thirsk. And then pick up passengers for North Allerton. So we're going back the same way um, that we came earlier, basically. We started in Darlington, didn't we, first time? Was it a hot plate for your coffee? I 
There's a disky thing over there, what's that? Uh, there's, there's something over there. It's not what that's supposed to be. Well, this is odd, not being on an American train, it's a drink warmer. Makes me want to drive a Deltic. Yeah, it's not going to do any more than 94.5, is it? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, hello, we got inside. Blimey. Anything from the trolley, it is? It's like being in Harry Potter. God, do you remember travelling on trains? Not in first, obviously, I was never that rich. Um, travelling in trains and compartments, you walk down and hopefully you find a compartment nobody in. Or oh, I used to be sat in with Walkman on and I'd, I'd, I'd find a sneak in and sit in a corner out of the way quietly. Blimey. Yeah, I've never travelled first class on a, uh, on a train or a plane. Running. Got well, seven miles to go to get to Thursk. I should really start slowing down now just to annoy Larwood. anyone would say the class 47 cooking rings were designed to rattle oh, I really like the detail of this thing again stock um oh Frank Nah it isn't as long as mine. Where's that pipe going? From the tree now, where's that going? What's the What's the electrics in there? Yeah, that's not great as far as modelling though, is it? So bits of it are detailed quite well, I think. The, the dash seems to be done um, okay. Again, it's not train sim world quality, but it's not bad. Screw heads are a bit meh. Yeah, it uh, doesn't detract from the enjoyment. Four point seven miles now to go till we get to uh, Thursk, and we've got to work out how long this thing takes to slow down. That could be an issue. Yeah, it's nipping along quite nicely. No difference in sound from inside to outside. That's a bit of an error, I think. Because it wouldn't sound exactly the same in there as it does out there. 
There are two Class 47 models. One's ancient and dates back to original railworks. And the newer one has a lot more detail. I think that came with either West Coast or Over Shap on the Virgin Trains pack. Maybe both. So the, I think this is the older one then. But it's fine. It, it, again, it's the sound for me more than anything else. Although if I was in a plane now, I'd be going, hmm, I'm not going to sit here for a couple of hours and look at the poor quality dash. Yeah, that's the old one, yeah. Right, we've got flashing yellows. So I'm going to back it off a bit. I'll have to try the newer one then. Uh, SP Harris? Hello. What's Farris? Oh, yeah. oh shoot. Uh, thanks very much for the follow. Play Fortnite like a real man. Yeah, I don't think I will somehow. Right, 1.6 miles to go. I will start slowing down a little tiny bit. Because we've got a 75, then a 30. Exactly. And boys and girls. We're not, you know. I've got a bit more brake than that, I think. I'm going to get down to about 30. Yeah, I have no intention of ever playing Fortnite. That doesn't even appear on my radar. I used to play Call of Duty and that sort of stuff. Right, slowing down then into Thursk. Well, yeah, I think we need to uh, try and attract a certainly a uh, more diverse audience to uh, to trains. That's why if I did a regular Friday night train stream, people start recognising the fact that there's a train stream on a Friday night. So I want to try and be like trucking on a Saturday and flying on a Sunday. I want to have you know three streams a week that are all the same thing. I might change it up a bit. Um, we we'll chuck the odd Saturday afternoon one in there or something, but. If I start making Friday night train, uh, train sim or train sim world, then people get to realise that. Yeah, cheers, Amarillo. Catch you uh, hopefully during tomorrow night's uh, trucking. Right, into Thursk we come then. As you go backwards through a tunnel. See how much of the train we can get on the platform. Well, it's not bad. There's no way. All of that was going to fit on there anyway. Because I'm hanging off the front of the platform. So they, the train's too long. All the platform's too short. Ah, which is it? Which came first? The train? Oh, the platform, obviously. Alright, so Thursk, and then we'll one more stop after Thursk. And then we will call it a day for today. Your book departure time here is 10.47. Do not leave before that time. Well, that's in like two seconds, so I can't really leave. See, there you go. Right, 7.75 miles, roughly. 
uh, until we get to uh, North Allerton. Just sounds really nice. And we get that lovely tick over. Until we get up to the 75 limit. And then we'll give it everything it's got. Let's wait for the rear of the train to go through. It's still raining. Oh, it just sounds really nice, and it just chugging along. Well, I like it. Right, it's only five then. And 6.8 miles to go until the uh, final stop, North Allerton. And then, as I say, we'll end that there for this evening. And then uh, is that odd carriage a food bar carriage? I don't know. Obviously, I can't. It has got a couple of windows this end that are odd. So it could be a restaurant car or... It could be, because it's got a couple of odd windows there, and I can't... Hmm. Because it's in the middle, <laughs> I, I can't... Uh, I can't look at it. Alright, five miles to go. Shame you can't walk through the train. Yeah, I know. Yeah, if this was train scene world, I could have got out and gone down and had a look at it. PT boy, I'm glad you asked that because I didn't want to. Yes, I, I knew that was going to make me speed. Oh, I love the way this thing sounds. Oh, we've got four miles to go into our final stop of the evening. Tomorrow's stream uh, will be longer. Um, depending on how uh, things go tomorrow, I might even do uh, um, trucking at uh, half past six. And we normally do. May do something a bit earlier for an hour or so. This might do a bit of. Uh, jump on for a bit of an impromptu stream tomorrow afternoon if I've uh, got the time to do some uh, fishing in the sim world. 
or might uh, do that after trucking. We will see how the uh, the afternoon goes tomorrow. And then back again Sunday afternoon for some flying. Where I don't know where I fly, I think we might be continuing the American adventure. Um, and after we've done the American adventure, we're going to carry on the Bahamas eventually. Two miles to go, we've got a 50 coming up down here. Cool, yeah, no worries, Petey Boy. Yeah, Sunday will be in the afternoon. Slow ourselves down to this 50. Oh, train. It even sounds nice when it's slowing down. And here comes our final stop interview. So yeah, it's slightly short stream, um, this one. I want to do a couple of routes in this. And uh, tomorrow's uh, will be longer. There may be a couple of streams tomorrow. And then um, a couple of hours again on Sunday afternoon. And then back again next Wednesday. So uh, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So four streams a week from me as well as uh, somewhere between uh, five and six uh, YouTube videos as well. There's no escape. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Slowly down we come into North Allerton in the rain. Uh, rain effects not great, are they? <laughs> None of that's actually you know, it's it's static rain. Uh, PD boy, thank you very much for the uh, for the cheer. Much appreciated, sir. I got a platform as well. Oh, I could call you PD. PD? Peter. But you know, your name's Peter Boy. I've got enough to think about without what people's real names are. <laughs> but yeah, if I remember Peter, I will call you Peter. See, I needed it again, didn't I? Right, I'm going to get the whole train on the platform this time. God, that would have been bad if I'd have... If that would have been red <laughs> and I would have run that, that would have been really bad, wouldn't it? And this door didn't open here, did it? But they all opened. That's cool. 
Well, there we go. We'll let the passengers disembark. Well done, another drive. We'll take over for the run to Middlesbrough and you can take a well-earned break and that's exactly what I shall do now. Um, there we go. Targets complete. Three out of three on that one. Um, operational errors. Speeding twice. Maybe we won't talk about that. Um, so there we go. I will end that there. Really enjoyed that. We'll perhaps do some more on uh, East Coast Mainline uh, next time unless you've got Cornish by then. Uh, don't forget to check out the Discord server. The link is there in chat and will be in the description below if you've got this far on YouTube. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, possibly, with an impromptu stream, but certainly uh, tomorrow evening, half past six with some trucking and Sunday afternoon with some flying. Uh, thanks to those of you that have uh, uh, followed. Thanks to the subscription and thanks for the chat. And uh, I will now go and uh, have a lie down in the darkened room. Uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, and uh, good night.